Now I want to address Nigerians and the international community about the the current happenings in northern Nigeria. Although it's not only northern Nigeria, it's the entire country, but most particularly northern Nigeria. And I want to address the indigenous Nigerians and the Hausa people, particularly in Nigeria. You know, we, we need to rise up. We need to open our eyes. The Fulanis are moving all villages, killing people, rampaging communities. You know, they have no respect for religion. Fulani man has no respect, whether you are a, a Muslim or you are a Christian. I myself that, that is addressing you, I'm a Hausa person. These people have no regard for religion. If you are thinking it's about religion, you better open your eyes. The, the indigenous people in this country and the Hausa people need to rise up and open their eyes. This is not about religion. It's about ethnic cleansing. The Fulani people want to eliminate the indigenous Nigerians. Now, in my local government, Giwa local government of Kaduna State, it's a local government that is that is 99 percent Hausa people, Hausa people by tribe. But as I'm talking to you, over four days now, the Fulani militias have killed over 200 persons. And I'm, among them include my own relations. They have burnt houses. They have, they have destroyed both Christians and Muslims. So it is high time for particularly the ingenious northern houses to unite themselves against this onslaught. If those that are in position of authority, if you think this is about religion, then you are you are still sleeping. This is not about religion. This is about ethnic cleansing. They are trying to eliminate the indigenous, you know, Nigerians, the indigenous northerners, and take over their lands. This is about land grabbing. I'm telling you, in Zambon Tamal community in your local government, which comprises of over 60 to 70 villages, cluster of villages. They have been over over so far now over 100 people have been killed houses burnt their cows their cattle that they use for you know farming for construction of ridges and all that they have been they have been scattered away you know their their houses their cars all their properties as i'm talking to you right now they have left their communities they have run away to other other places the bushes and and even some of them have, have moved towards uh, zaria how can you expect uh, you know, a farmer to, to move into the city to do what? To do what for God's sake? It is high time for Nigerians to wake up. It is high time for the houses to wake up. The Fulanis are uh, blindfolding our eyes, the houses. I'm a house person and I'm talking with passion. The, the Fulanis have used religion to blindfold us, to think that it is about religion. No, it is not about religion. It is about ethnic cleansing. It's high time for the houses. Thank God, you know, this, this, uh, you know, this, this broadcast, I believe, is going to be pushed you know, into the, the, the group that comprises of all the houses, the indigenous houses, and with the effort making to, to unite the houses, you know, to rise up against this, this onslaught. So I want you to understand this sense is not about religion. It's not about religion. It's about ethnic cleansing. The same thing that is happening in, in southern Kaduna, where the indigenous southern Kaduna are being eliminated by the Fulanis. The same thing is also happening in northern Kaduna, where there are purely houses. So it's not about religion. If you heard that people are being butchered in southern Kaduna, houses, communities, burnt, and you are happy and you think it's about Christians, now you better open your eyes. It's not about Christians. I'm a house person. Our Gua local government, which is in northern Kaduna, you know, and many parts of, uh, you know, Katsuna, Zampara have been, many people have been eliminated eliminated now i want you to know right now as i'm talking to you uh you know own in my own community and and, and kaya you know th there are villages over 100 villages in that axis it, you know it, it belongs to the, the you know the the, the western part of uh, your local government of course just to mention just uh, about a few months ago the house of uh the person representing us at the state level now the state house of assembly was killed by the bandits so and this man too is a Hausa person, is a Muslim. So it's not about religion. I want you to understand that this thing is not about religion. It's about ethnic cleansing. Right now, as I'm talking right now, this evening, they have started operation from about um, 5 p.m. up to this time that I'm talking to you right now. The Fulani militias are still there operating, 
killing people, burning houses, you know, raping our women, kidnapping those that they can kidnap. This and not be said, no, this is not just kidnapping, it's, it's even more than kidnapping. This is an invasion. Now, I want you to know that Giwa local government is one of the major, uh, you know, agricultural community in Nigeria. Giwa alone can feed the entire Nigeria. Now, Giwa market, for instance, Giwa grain market is one of the largest, you know, grain market in Nigeria. So if the inhabitants of Giwa local government are chased away by the bandits, now that will have multiply effect, that will have negative consequences, not just on the on the livelihood of the people, the inhabitants of Giwa local government, but the entire economy of, 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 of Kaduna State and the entire community, I mean, economy of Nigeria. Farmers are living, are running, farmers are coming to the city. What will they come to the city and do? What will they eat? So it's high time for those in authority. Now, if you are hearing me and you are in authority, you have a say, and you, if you keep quiet because you don't want to die, you will eventually die. You will eventually die, whether you like it, you know, you know, whether you like it or not. The, the governorship aspirant, you know, from Katsina that was killed by the bandits some couple of months ago on his way from, you know, Katsina to Abuja, I mean, to Abuja on the Kaduna Abuja road. Did he, did he knew that he was going to be killed? So if you think you are in position and you don't want to talk so that you will not be killed, you will still be killed. We that have chosen to come out and talk we will still be alive. I know there is no devil in heaven and another can eliminate my life. So I, if you will come out and talk, and, and uh, you know, get what is supposed to be done, you know, to be done, it's better for you to rise up and talk. You know, I've spoken to many military, I mean, those in the military sector, they have complained to me of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of logistic issues, which is affecting their operations. All this is not worth it. And I, and, and I want to assure you that, uh, you know, this is a conspiracy, this is a, a serious conspiracy. Why? Because, you know, on the 24th of March, which is on Thursday that the kidnappers started this operation, the network of the entire axis of the uh, western part of, uh, you know, Giwa, that is on the Mayo, ceased. So, you know, they couldn't even call to, for, for help at, at the right time because the network has ceased. So what does that mean? That means this is, it's, it's a conspiracy. Turji, the head of kidnappers, uh, you know, who, who is resident in Zampara, has came out on the social media, has claimed responsibility for, 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 for hundreds of lives. You know that have been killed and yet nothing has been done to him which kind of which kind of uh you you, you know you know you know you know go governless country are we in life in nigeria in northern nigeria particularly as most especially in Giwa local government is becoming poor brutish nasty and short life is becoming uncertain which kind of situation is this i am calling on well-meaning individuals who can speak whose voice can be heard to rise up and speak against this evil this is evil and this evil will consume everyone eventually if we keep quiet if you think you are in the city if you think where you are is saved and therefore you will keep quiet i'm telling you a time will come even those in the city will not be spared you know for some for some about some months ago you know zaria which is a city i mean i mean the, the, the second largest city in kaduna state after the main you know, you know kaduna kaduna city you know uh, has experienced a lot of uh, you know kidnappers attempts and and all that so don't say you are in the city and you will keep quiet and even if you think you are saved what about your relations what about your relations that are in the villages so let's come out and talk against this evil and not just talk but act against this evil those that have access to President Buhari should speak to him. Those that have access to, you know, Governor Erifai should speak to him. Those that have access to other state governors, those that have access to head of various security apparatus in Nigeria, they should speak. These bandits are human beings. They are not spirits. They are, they are human beings like you and I. If there is effort, they can be stopped. They can be stopped. Nigerian military is more than equipped to face them and destroy and annihilate them. These people, they are not animal, they, they are not civil spirits. They are people that are known. Where they are located is known. So why not Nigerian security reinforce both the land army, uh, you know, and the air force should reinforce and face them and clear them. If we refuse to act, this evil will consume every one of us. So I want to call 
particularly on the houses, the indigenous houses, to rise up. I know that Fulanis have deceived houses. They have they have taken over the, the northern Nigeria, even though they constitute the minority in terms of population, but in terms of the politics of northern Nigeria is Fulanis. In terms of the traditional relationship of northern Nigeria is Fulanis. In terms of every every position, every authority, Fulanis have occupied. So it's becoming difficult for the government to address this because those that should address it, they are the ones, they, 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 they are the ones they feel that it is their brethren, it is their their kinsmen. Buhari is a Fulani, you know, uh, uh, Governor Kaduna State Air is Fulani and most of the northern governors are Fulanis so that has made this evil to continue you know you know you know therefore I want to call on the indigenous people of Nigeria the indigenous houses in northern Nigeria and other minority tribes to rise up against this evil if we refuse to rise up and I also know that there are some Fulanis that are well-meaning Fulanis who are also not happy with this thing who are also not supporting this evil I also want you to call on your brethren to call the attention of your kinsmen the Fulanis against this evil and to expose them don't hide them don't give them a covering expose them if we collectively put our effort together if you collectively expose this evil this evil will stop this evil will stop therefore please i want to call on the indigenous nigerians to gank up against this evil and if you refuse to do that this evil will eventually consume us thank you so much because i believe not only the the, the the nigerians but also the international community i want the international community to, to come to the aid of nigeria because nigeria is under siege nigeria is under a serious conspiracy so united states of america britain germany france and all well-meaning uh, and even the united nation organization and all the well-meaning uh, you know you know people across the globe should come to the help of nigeria because nigeria is burning in flame your local government under Kaduna state is bu burning in fire right now as i'm talking to you come to our aid thank you so much